Okay, guys. I, as you know, Ikoria released last Friday, this being May 21st, as I'm recording this. And uh, after two months of delays on this thing, we're finally ready to take a look at this baby. So I got two booster boxes we're going to be opening today. These are completely sealed. All the wizard logo, nothing's, nothing's been pre-opened. None of this is stacked. Yeah, he has to prove that his luck is uh, is uh, pure. <laughs> so we have to struggle to open these up because I don't have nails right now that are sharp enough. Yeah. Yeah, I just gotta get these weird little tabs right here. They're my favorite things to go for. I might have to use my teeth. <laughs> there we are. And as you know, Ikoria has a Godzilla crossover. I've already pulled a couple of the cards. I've pulled Biolanti, Godzilla, had a friend of mine pull Rodan. So, let me get this baby open. And the first thing we get is our Ikoria box top. We'll be opening these after we open these. So, this bad boy will be set right there. For now, let's open it up. You can see it at, a, at your LGS. Start pulling out packs. So what are we going to be looking for? So we're looking for Godzilla cards, obviously. And we are also going to be looking for Triomes. They are, at the time of recording, this new lands that have three basic land types. And enter tap and they cycle for three. So the first pack of Ikoria. Here we go. So the first thing we're going to get is we're going to get a Mutual Destruction. The spell is Flash as long as you control a permanent Flash. As an additional cost to catch the spell, sacrifice a creature, destroy a target creature. It's like uh, Bone Splinters. Next card. Dranith Stinger. Pacifism. Deadweight. I like Deadweight. Checkpoint Officer. Capture Sphere. Garrison Call, Evolving Wilds, Moss Coat Goriak, and Shredded Sails. First uncommon is going to be Savai Thundermane. Next uncommon, Pouncing Shore Shark. And last uncommon, Charge of the Forever Beast. Ooh. And our rare is. Ooh, a full art Zagoth Triome. Nice. First pack, and we already got one of the rare borderless cards. Nice. That's definitely a big win. Ding, ding. And we get a forest. So next pack of Ultimate Destiny. So we got one of the Triomes, I'm very happy about that. So we're also looking for any of the Apexes. We're looking for Godzilla cards. Um, we're looking for um, uh, Dranith Magistrate, Lava Serpent, Boot Nipper, Dark Bargain. Ooh, Alternate Art Cloud Piercer. So make sure to always check your commons and uncommons. They can be full arts. Startling Development, Main Serval, Crustacean, it's not bad, Survivor's Bond, Raking Claws, Flycatcher Giraffid, First Uncommon, Auspicious Sterix, Barrier Breach, Reconnaissance Mission, and our rare is a Ruinous Ultimatum. And another forest. Next pack, here we go. After five packs, we're gonna be going a little faster. We will be looking through the commons and uncommons as normal, but we will be moving past a lot of the other things. Uh, we'll be going straight to the rare, and then we will check for full arts. So first is Fire Prophecy. Night Squad Commando. Pyroceratops. Convolute, Imposing Vantasaur, Plummet, Q 
keep safe. Tentative connection. Thwart the enemy. Ooh, our first uncommon is Regal Leosaur, another nice uh, alternate art. Next uncommon, Swallow Hole. Final uncommon, Ominous Seas. And our rare, Crystalline Giant. At the beginning of combat on your turn, choose a kind of counter at random that Crystalline Giant doesn't have on it from among Flying, First Strike, Death Touch, Hexproof, Life Link, Menace, Reach, Trample, Vigilance, and Plus One, Plus One, and put that counter on it. What a crazy card. And we get a Foil Dreamtail Heron. And another Force. And a Human Soldier Token. Next pack. Ah, the glue I'm using to reseal these packs. There's too strong. Dinosaur beast. We got a, a Vulpakeet. A lurking Deadeye. Forbidden Friendship. Migratory Greathorn. There's another uh, alternate art. Migratory Greathorn seeing quite a bit of play in Standard right now. Frostvale Ambush. Helica Glider, the Nightmare Squirrel. I know someone who would like that. Startling Development. Frost Lynx. Oh, a nice reprint of Frost Lynx. That's a pretty decent card. Unexpected Fangs. Thwart the Enemy. Ooh, another full art. Insatiable Hamophage. It's a nice looking card. So you can get a good look at that one. Yeah. Some good art. Who did the arts through these? This one is by Sylvie Ellis. I don't know if I pronounced that right at all. I probably did not. Next uncommon is Sanctuary Lockdown. That's Steve Ellis. I can't read them. They're too tiny. You also don't have glasses. <laughs> and a Raugrin Crystal. And our rare, Mythos of Neithral. Two and a black. Destroy target non-land permanent if it's a creature. Or if uh, uh, green, or white was, or green and white was spent to cast a spell. It's kind of cool. I also like the art, how it looks, uh, caveman. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be like the mythos. It's the, the, the mythos of the land. And we get a mountain. We get something besides a forest. Hooray. Next pack. Next pack. Next pack. Memory Leak, Fire Prophecy, Blitz Leech, Farfinder, Divine Arrow, Hampering Snare, Dranith Healer, Adventure Impulse, Spring Claw Trap. Hey, Necropanther, there's a nice alt art. Avian Oddity. Call of the Death Dweller, and our rare, Offspring's Revenge. Two, a red, a white, and a black. At the beginning of each, uh, the beginning of combat on your turn, exile target red, white, or black creature card from your graveyard. Create a token that's a copy of the card, except it's a 1-1. One, one. It gains haste until your next turn. And we have a foil. Foil! Planeswalker! Foil, Vivian, Monster's Advocate! Ding, ding, ding! We got a foil mythic! Nice! It's a case hit right there. Big nice! This box is going amazing so far. And a Bloodfell Caves. Okay, starting with the next pack, we're going to go straight for the rares. And the foils, and then we will check the commons and uncommons as we go to see if there are any full arts. So... Human Soldier, Planes. Hey, Raugrin Triome. We got another Triome. Very, very nice to see that one. Duskfang Mentor. Reptilian Reflection. Grim Dancer. Bristling Boar. Any full arts? Nope. Next pack. We're going to make this fast now. I'm excited. We've gotten a full art Triome and a Foil Mythic. That's big nice. Shark Typhoon. We got the Sharknado! We got the Sharknado! 
And no big alternate arts. Next pack. Let's go, Craig. Ooh, Umori the Collector. Not bad. Anything else? Nope. So next pack. Ooh, we got a uh, one of the counter cards. These are actually punch outable. So you can actually keep track of what special counters you have on stuff because things have like flying counters now. Definitely holding on to that. Foil Wilt. Genesis Ultimatum. Not bad. And nothing else incredibly crazy. No uh no full art so far. We had one full art. From the Triome. So hopefully we get another cool one. Or there's a small chance of Godzilla cards. I'm very excited for the Godzilla cards. Everyone loves Godzilla cards. Think about, um, we also have not pulled a Mythic yet, except for the foil one. So we do have our Mythics to hit. We got our Shark Token. Nice. Tranquil Cove. Winota. There's a Mythic. This card was just recently, as of this recording, it might change in the future. Uh, this card was recently just banned in the Brawl format for being way too good. So, nice. If it's banned, it's expensive. Well, unless it was banned out of the only format it was played in, and then the, the price drops to nothing because now it hasn't got a reason to be grabbed. Yeah, but some people are like, hey, uh, look how... We pull a Luris. Luris is a good example. As of this recording, Luris was recently banned in Vintage and Legacy. Human Soldier. Lava Brink Venturer. Sanctuary Smasher. And we got a Parcel Beast. Parcel Beast also seeing a lot of play in current standard. Definitely have fun going over these cards. I do not put any kind of prices on my videos, as right now the set has just been released. Prices are in huge fluctuation, um, and in the future the prices probably won't even be close to accurate. Uh, but uh, after this video I will be going through all these cards that I open, and I will be pricing them out for myself, uh, and anything worth more than $1.50 will go in my binder. Wolpikeet Foil. Yurion, the Sky Nomad, the Bird Serpent. Yay. Easy Prey, Momentum Rumbler, Channeled Force. And any full arts? Nope. So put that in the foil pile, put that in the rare pile, and the rest will go back in the box. Next pack. This is actually nice. It means I've pulled a, because uh, I bought a couple of collector's boosters the other day. I now have a foil Vivian and a full art Vivian. There's a feather counter. Hey, so hey I pulled the Vivian! We got two Vivians yeah. in one box. Nice! I might need that feather counter. Uh, it does not, it's not a feather counter, it's a feather token. It's a token Aww. artifact. It's only used for, uh, you pay one, you sacrifice the feather, you return target phoenix card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Oh, that's kind of lame. Yeah, sorry. The person holding the camera right now is running a bird's deck in uh, EDH, and he wants to, he needs to get, like, a feather counter set up for his commander. So, unfortunately, that is a token feather it does not count so we get ooh cub warden full art rare that's two now two full arts and we got to lead the stampede nice lead the stampede very very good card anything else in this pack nope so cub warden will go right in the full art rare pile next pack oh, this pack's feeling good I, I have a good feeling we're getting a, we're getting another mythic. This will be this will be another mythic right here. It's gonna be great. Titan's nest. Well, no, we did get a majestic oracorn though. So there's a. Uh, we did we did get a uh, we did get a full art. So we got a full art and Titan's nest. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of Titan's nest. I was thinking it was gonna do stuff when it came out, but it did not. So, unfortunate. Uh, if a deck in the future comes out with it, it'd be interesting to see. Uh, maybe a um, Sultai Delve style deck. Because um, essentially what it's doing is it's giving everything Delve, except it, uh, in a really weird way, is you can't Delve for X. 
It lets you exile a card from your graveyard in order to make a colorless mana, but you can't spend it on anything with X in its casting cost. Dinosaur, Rugged Highlands, Colossification. Five and double green, enchant creature. When it enters the battlefield, you tap the creature's enchanted and it gets plus 20, plus 20. Void Beckoner, this is a special card because this one has the, the uh, Space Godzilla card. Next pack, we're getting towards the end here. We're getting about halfway through the packs right now. We'll see what we can come up with. Another token thing. So we got Mountain. Ooh, a foil rare, a Lava Brink Ventures. We got a foil Mythic and a foil rare in the same box. Roland of Thought, this is a great card. One, and then Jeskai, Enchantment. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, so a counter spell, a burn spell, a draw spell, anything that's not a creature, a Planeswalker even, you draw a card. So all of your non-creatures are now replacing themselves in your hand. This card is great. And if you run like three of these on the field, you're just putting your entire deck in your hand. This card is great. Uh, looks like... Oh, people were looking at this card, Mysterious Egg. People were thinking that was going to be really good with the Mutate, but uh, it's not doing anything. That's a cool looking card. This is uh, interesting. So this is something they did in which there are now colorless creatures um, that are not artifacts. They do not, they do not have the artifact outer area. They actually just have a, a bleed through art where you can, you can see the art through the text boxes and they just, they don't cost colors. They cost anything and they're just colorless creatures. Hey, we got a cavern whisperer as a full art. So always make sure to check your commons and uncommons. You could get a full art and those full art arts are amazing. Okay, next. Ooh, Gloom Pangolin. Ooh, full art, Riona. Or what is it? Iluna? It's hard to tell with all that white, but Iluna, the apex of wishes. Look at that. Whenever this creature mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land permanent. Put that card under the battlefield or into your hand. This is nice. That is an amazing pull. Full art mythic. Nice. Any other full art? Hey, we got a double full art. We got Dreamtail Heron. Oh. Big nice so far. We've pulled two mythics. We got, or three mythics now. We've pulled Vivian, a Vivian foil, an Elena Apex of Wishes, and a Winata. So that's, uh, that's really nice. Next pack, we get Luris. We were talking about him. This card, as of this recording, banned in Legacy and Vintage. This card's dumb. So it's one Orzov Orzov. Companion requirement of all permanent cards in your starting deck have converted mana cost two or less. Lifelink. During each of your turns, you may cast a permanent card with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard. This card's busted. Mm, nothing here. Ooh, I did see that though. Serrated Scorpion is an amazing one drop right now. One drop, one two, that when it dies, it deals two damage to each opponent and you gain two life. This card is amazing. This card's great. Uh, sounds like it goes well in pod. Uh, yeah, but also it's really good in popper. I mean, like, it's uh, it's common. I mean, it's one mana. Next, Jungle Hollow is Slither Wisp. Blue and double black flash. Whenever you cast another spell that has flash, you draw a card and each opponent loses a life. Ooh, this would be great for flash commander. Except flash is, you know, banned. Which is good. Flash needs to be banned. Sega Crystal. Sagoth Mamba. Footfall Crater. Fully Grown. And no other full arts. So next things. We've only got a few more packs left to go. But, uh... I am very much enjoying this set so far. We're pulling some amazing stuff. We still haven't pulled Dranith Magistrate, though. Snapdax! Apex of the Hunt! Nice! There's another mythic for us with Menace. Or, uh, not Menace. And Mutate, Double Strike. When other creature mutates, deals four damage to target creature or planeswalker on opponent controls, and you gain four life. Not a bad casting cost. A, f uh, a little hefty on the, the colors, but we are currently in a standard with Ravnica. 
So that does make a 4-mana 3-5 with Double Strike that has yeah, not a bad mutate cost. Uh, I feel like this is the card you play and then you mutate under it. Uh, so we're going to put that in the Mythic Pile. And a Chittering Harvester. That's a good-looking foil. That's that's a really cool. Looks like... um. It looks like Crocomire or an Omega Metroid if it had, like, the weird duck face. At least that's what I see is, like, a duck face. It looks like the duck face of the Doctor from Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, I was going to say that it looks like a, uh, whatever the heck they're called. I thought they were called Hunters from, uh, from Halo. The, uh... No, it doesn't look like a Hunter. Hunters are made of worms. No, then what, what was I thinking of? I have no idea. The, like the bird hey, Yadaro, the Wandering Monster. This card is a Godzilla version as well. This is a really good card. It's a 7 mana, Trample Haste, 8-8, eight, eight, so good. It's got a cycling cost of 1 and a red, so you pay 1 and a red, you discard it, you draw a card. Now when this card's discarded for its cycling cost, you shuffle it back into your library. But if you have cycled uh, Yadaro at least 4 times this game, you put it on the battlefield instead. So it becomes a 2-mana 8-8 eight, eight, Trample Haste that gives you a card. This card's great. Ooh, full, uh, full Art Porky Parrot. Nice. Look at that art. Look at the look at that face. Is that actually a red bird? Yeah. Cool. It's like one of the only red birds in existence. Well, yeah, uh, because they made rocks, egg, and egg. <laughs> it's like, why? It makes eggs. And nothing else interesting in that pack. Next pack. So we're looking for potentially one more mythic in this box. Um, I'm also hoping for more triumphs. We haven't pulled very many triumphs. We've only gotten two. So, Labyrinth Raptor. Eh, it's, it's a decent card. I guess he was being played in dinosaurs, but eh, I'm not a fan. Fight is one. Trumpeting Gnar. Vertila. There's the uh, colorless card. And nothing else here. Next. All this resealing glue I'm using to cheat and reseal all these packs. Another one of these. And we get, hey, there's the Dranith Magistrate we need. Dranith Magistrate is going right into my commander deck. It is one and a white for a human wizard. Your opponents cannot cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. And it's a 1 3, so it has a decent protection to itself. So, nice. Nice pull. Anything else in here? Nope. Not at the moment. A few more packs to go here. And remember, at the end, we will be opening a box topper. So, ooh, special. So, let's see what we get. Planes end. Ooh, foil ozolith. That's two. That is two foil rares and a foil mythic in a single box. This box is amazing. And a regular cub worn afterwards. Ozolith's amazing. This card is great. One mana legendary artifact. Whenever a creature card you control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, you put the counters on Ozolith. The beginning of combat of your turn, if the Ozolith has counters on it, you may move all counters from it onto the creature. This card is amazing. Oh, Jackals. That's what they're called. What is? From Halo. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought of. The Kigur. Like. So, foil. Ooh, and we got a foil, or a foil, a full art Lore Dracus. It's a neat looking card. Whenever this creature mutates, you return an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. And it mutates for is it is it? This card seems really strong. I will be making a few decks after this uh, with some of these cards because I did buy two boxes. So after this video, be prepared to see a second Ikoria box opening. And that one will also have another box topper. So, you know, I might get something good. Tranquil Cove. Luminous Brood Moth. Nice. That's a great mythic to pull. That's the one that's on Mothra, right? Yes, this one does have a Mothra variant. So it's th uh, four for a three, four flying. Whenever a creature you control without flying dies, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with a flying counter. That's not bad at all. Any full arts in here? Any full arts? Nope. That's nice. So we have our four mythics. So any mythic after this is... Uh, is above average for the box. And we do have quite a, you know, quite a few packs, not a lot, but a few. Swamp, 
in Dotha Crystal. Hey, Obosh, the Prey Piercer. Three and Rakdos Rakdos for a 3 5. Companion, your starting deck contains only cards with odd converted mana costs and lands. Because obviously, uh, the magic ruling is that lands have a cost of zero, and uh, zero is even according to Wizards of the Coast. If a source you control with odd converted mana cost would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage. Ooh. Ooh, that's really good. That would be an interesting card to make a deck around. So it doesn't have double strike, it just does double damage. It double it does double damage if the permanent or spell is uh or well, whatever the source is, is is uh odd. Yeah. So that means like uh that one drop scorpion. I'd go good in there. There's a lot of one mana burn spells and three mana burn spells. Uh Pravers it feels like it'd be really good in like a, a, a Rakdos beats three deck. Dismal Blackwater. Foil, Insatiable Hemophage, and a Karuga, the Macro Sage. The Dino Hippo. Three and Simic Simic for a 5-4. Has a companion of your starting deck, contains only cards with converted mana costs three or greater, and lands. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card for each con uh, permanent you control with converted mana costs three or greater. Seems pretty decent. Uh, I'd be interested to see if there's any kind of standard decks that can be run this as a companion. Uh, some big beatsy decks. Uh, just a little worried that it might be just straight up beaten out by um, by faster decks. Because if you're if all the permanents have to be uh, three or higher, that's um, that means you're relying on spells for your first three turns, which is a little scary. It also means you can't like you would normally in blue and uh, green. You're not going to be running stuff to ramp. Which is super, super scary that you can't ramp. Cuban Soldier Token. Island. Hey, Skycat Sovereign! White and a blue for a 1-1 one, one flyer. Skycat Sovereign gets plus one, plus one for each other creature you control with flying. That's the one you said should be in my bird yep, deck, right? because you pay two, a white and a blue, and you create a 1-1 one, one white cat bird creature token with flying. Cat bird. Alone in the world with a little cat bird. It's simple, simple, naturally. Jack from Cat Dog also voices hey, Cavern from Kingdom Hearts, which is a thing that I keep getting reminded of. Huh. Let's see, we're still missing three triumphs. We make another mythic? Might just be a joke, but... Extinction event. Choose odd or even. Exile each creature with the converted mana cost of the chosen value. And right there, according to Wizards of Coast, zero is even. Flourishing Fox. Back me. Da, 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 anything. Yep. A full art Vulpikeet. Next pack. Cat bird. Cat bird. Alone in the world of the little cat bird. Thornwood Falls. And Zerda the Dawnbreaker. Uh, card also just got banned in Legacy. Or was it Vintage? It was Legacy or Vintage that got banned. So it's one Boros Boros for a 3-3 three, three companion. Each con each permanent card in your starting deck has an activated ability. So that's either tapping it, paying a mana, sacking a creature, something that has a cost to do an effect. Yeah, um, just double checked. Uh, he's played by Jim Cummings. Interesting. Yeah. That means he's also uh, Winnie the Pooh. Yes. Um... So abilities you create that aren't, or you activate that aren't mana abilities, so stuff that makes mana, cost two colorless less to activate. This effect can't reduce the mana in that cost to less than one. You can pay one and tap it. Target creature can't block this turn. Hey, another lead, the Stampede. It's nice. And nothing full art here. Next pack. Last pack in the left the left part of the box. Let's see, we're hoping for another Triome, uh, another Mythic, Sephora Cliffs, Kogla, the Titan Ape. Three and triple green for a 7-6. When it enters the battlefield, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. Whenever it attacks, destroy target, artifact, or enchantment defending player controls. One and a green, return target human you controlled its owner's hands. Kogla gains indestructible until end of turn. I don't know if this is being played in standard currently. Wait, Beckoner, Primal Empathy, anything full art? Nope. 
the middle. Let's do it. We're getting close to the, uh, we're getting close to the box topper. Ooh, a companion starter thing. That's nice. A Thornwood Falls end. Vicious, a voracious great shark. Five mana, five, four with flash. When it enters the battlefield, counter target artifact or creature spell. Interesting. It's an interesting card. I don't know if that one's being played at all. And nothing. Full art there. And the last card on the right side. We're down to three packs now. And then the box topper. Who's excited for the box topper? I know I am. Might get something real spicy. Maybe I'll get a third Biolanti. Do a full playset of Biolantis. Human Soldier, Swiftwater Cliffs, Will of the All Hunter, and a Zagoth Triome. Nice. Did we already get that one? Yeah, we got the we got the full art variant of this one. So that's nice. So one of the triple lands. Big fun. Anything else in here? Nope. Okay. Second to last pack. Oh, that one were open really easy. That's from when I uh, cut it open and resealed it, obviously. Well, last time you got, uh, you made that yeah, Foil Island. You got Ooh, Gigant of the Wellspring. Four and a Gruul Companion. No card in your starting deck has more than one of the same mana symbol and its mana cost. And then you can tap it to add every color of mana at once. This mana can't be spent to pay for generic mana costs. What it means by generic is the number in a gray circle. Kind of cool. And nothing. And the last pack of this box. After this, we will go through all the rares and mythics and full arts we got. So we can do a big rundown before the box topper. So we got another nice thing. We got this. Oh! A foil for Ketria Triome in the final pack. Obviously fake. This video is rigged. I obviously resealed all these packs. Look at that shine. Absolutely beautiful. I already pulled one of these foil full art from a collector's boosters and a non-foil version of it. So now I have three full art Ketria Triomes. I wonder if something's trying to tell me something. But oh, that's our foil. What's our rare? Another Ketria Triome? Are, 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 this is rigged. Are you seeing this? This is rigged. This is fake. This is not a real video. Nobody watch my channel. I'm obviously lying to everybody who's watching this. This cannot be real. I cannot believe this. Two Ketria Triomes in the same box. One normal. One foil showcased. This is absolutely insane. I don't even... How does that even happen? A uh, good way to end it off, I guess. That is a... That is a ding ding. Okay, so we're gonna go through all of the cards. So number one are cards that personally uh, I need for decks or someone else, such as my cameraman, needs for a deck. So we need the uh, the Catbird, the Dranus Magistrate, the Lead the Stampede, and now we'll grab the Skycat Sovereign for him. For foils, we managed to pull an Island, a Will of the All Hunter, an Insatiable Hemophage, a Jodanthic, a or Indatha Crystal. A Volpakeet, a Wilt, and a Dreamtail Heron. For rares that are not foil and not full art, we pulled Ketria Triome, Gigantha, a Zagoth Triome, Voracious Great Shark, Kogla the Titan Ape, Zerda the Dawn Waker, Extinction Event, Skycat Sovereign, we'll move that over to the uh, keep pile, we need that, Karuga, Obosh, Cub Warden, Otzlith, that should be in the foil section with the foil rares, Labyrinth Raptor, Yadaro, Slitherwisp, Lurus, Lava Brink Venture, Foil, Whirlwind of Thought, Colossification, Titan's Nest, Urion the Sky Nomad, another Lava Brink Venture, normal one, Genesis Ultimatum, Umori the Collector, Shark Typhoon, A Raugrin Triome, Offspring's Revenge, Mythos of Nethrot, Crystalline Giant, and Ruinous Ultimatum. For our mythics that are not full art, we have pulled a Luminous Brood Moth, a Snapdax, Apex of the Hunt, a Winata, Joiners of Forces, 
a Vivian Monsters Advocate, and a Foil Vivian's Monster Advocate. Ah, uh, Foil Mythic, Foil Planeswalker. For Full Arts, we've pulled the Vulpaki, the Cavern Whisperer, the Lord Dracus, the Porky Parrot, the Chittering Harvester, the Dreamtail Heron, the Cavern Whisperer, the Majestic Oricorn, the Parcel Beast, Necropanther, an Insatiable Hemophage, Migratory Great Horn, Regal Leosaur, and a Cloud Piercer. And now for the showcase cards that are really special Foil Ketria Triome, Iluna Apex of Wishes, Cub Warden, and a Zagoth Triome. And the final thing we have to do before we end this video you've all been so patiently waiting the Ikoria Box Topper. Sealed product, not for resale, so no, you can't buy this from me. And we're gonna see what's inside. Okay, we're opening it, I checked, it's the back right here, so let's see. The card we get is, ooh, foil, full art, Gigan, the Cyberclaw Terror. It is a, Godzilla variant of, as you see there, is it if the fo camera focus, fo there you go. Gyruda, the Doom of Depths. Four and Demir Demir, legendary creature, Demon Kraken. So companion, even converted mana cost, is the opposite of Obosh. When it enters the battlefield, each player puts the top four cards of the library into the graveyard. You put a creature card with even converted mana cost from among those cards onto the battlefield under your control. This is a great pull. So far, we have done amazing, and I want to thank all of you for joining me for this adventure through this box. We will have a new box video up shortly as well, and thank you guys all for watching.